Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am going to be playing Slimed It today where I try to imitate the shotgun that comes out of the backpack with just slime. Looks like I got breadhead this time. This should be fun. Okay, and there you can see some of the stuff that I'm going to be using. Of course, we have pink, and we also have fluffy slime. If you want to see how I made the slime, I could definitely put a link to the video down below. And Breadhead does have a yellow base, so here's my slime. Let me grab the yellow paint. Now that we have our base done, I'm going to go ahead and make the shape of what Breadhead looks like. It's basically just going to be a square, so let's hope I get this right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and work on the top of Breadhead's head, which is red. So for the top, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, roll it up a bit. Let's lay it on top. Hope this looks good. Wow, that's actually coming out really good. I'm going to go ahead and move on to his shoes. Of course, that's going to be green slime. I'm pulling it apart here so we can have two separate feet. That looks pretty good. As you can tell, it's not going as I planned, but it still looks pretty good. Now I'm going to start on Breadhead's glasses and his eyes. So again, for the eyes, I am using googly eyes. His glasses are red, of course. So you can see right there, I'm taking my slime and just adding some red paint. After you mix it up, that's what it came out looking like. And that was definitely not supposed to happen, but it's okay. Let's try to put him back together without messing it up completely. Right here, you can see that I'm rolling the red slime thin so it could give that shape of the glasses. So I'm just gonna keep rolling. Of course I'm gonna have to make a couple of these pieces. It's not coming out that great, but it's okay. Well, it definitely is coming along. It's not perfect, but it is pretty cute. It does look a bit like Breadhead. I'm pretty proud of it. What do you guys think? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Let's see who we get. Okay, awesome. Looks like we got Silly Chili. Let's go ahead and begin. And again, there you can see some of the stuff I'm going to be using. Mainly I'm using just green paint. And then, of course, there's the slime. Let's go ahead and start off with the base. Of course, his base is going to be a solid green. I do have a couple different shades of green as well, since he's not just one color of green. He's a couple different colors. We have a dark green in there, a lighter green. I'm working on making his shape right now. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and now I'm going to work on the top of his head, which is the stem. I'm going to need a dark green for that. Let's try this green. And I'm not going to lie, 
Hi you guys, this part was a little bit difficult. I didn't want to mess up the entire thing. So you can definitely see that I am taking my time. And as you can see, I'm starting on the feet as well since they are the same shade as his stem. So I'm going to go ahead and add the feet now. And Silly Chili does have an arm, so I'm going to give him those. That looks pretty good. Let's move on to his eyes. Again, for the eyes, I am using googly eyes. want to give him his eyebrows as well so I'm taking a little bit of black slime and I'm just gonna go ahead and plop that right on poor silly chili I just moved his eye there we go that looks pretty good silly chili does have a yellow tint so I'm gonna grab some yellow and green glitter I'm starting off with that green glitter. Now I'm moving on to some yellow glitter. That definitely does give it a better effect. And there you go, what do you guys think? <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see who we get. That's awesome, looks like we got Googie. That's gonna be a really fun one to make. I can't wait. And there you can see the stuff I'm going to be using. We have some paint. I will need yellow and orange. And of course, the slime. Like usual, I'm going to start off with the base. So Oogie's base is going to be white. So actually, for this part, I can just leave it like that. Okay, so next, I'm going to go ahead and work on his feet and his arms. So I am taking an orange. I didn't have one that was lighter, but this one will actually do it. It comes out a really pretty color and it matches him perfectly. Googie does have two arms and two feet. So I am just taking this line and pulling it apart. It's super easy. I love doing this, it is so much fun. That looks great. Now I'm doing the same thing for the feet. I'm pulling it apart and taking two separate pieces to make the two separate feet. Okay, that actually looks really good. Gookie does have that yellow coming from the bottom going up. So I am going to go ahead and get yellow glitter and try to make that illusion. That's looking really awesome. I did do that a little bit messy, so I'm actually going to just blend it in so there's not those streaks. So that way it looks more faded in. What do you guys think? That looks really good. Gookie does have that broken piece on top where you can see it's spilling out. So let's go ahead and recreate that with some yellow slime. Right here, I am just molding my yellow slime to look like that piece that he has up top where you can see that it's oozing out. So that's actually pretty good. Googie has eyes, of course. It's the same thing. I am grabbing googly eyes for his two eyes. Of course, Googie does need eyebrows, so I just took the black slime that I was using for Silly Chili, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on. 
Well, there you go, guys. There's Googie all done. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. See you next time.